student let us see what is there in this question in a nuclear fission the nucleus of element x absorbs a neutron to give a nucleus of element y and the nucleus of element z and two neutrons are also coming as byproduct there what is the ratio of magnitude of binding energy per nucleon of y divided by the binding energy per nucleon of x and the total binding energy of y and z divided by total binding energy of x so we need to comment on binding energy per nucleon and also on the total binding energy <clears throat> let us see so my dear student first of all this is a nuclear fusion reaction that is given here so x is the element and a neutron is getting added into it so what is happening now uh, so you can just take the example of uranium we remember that reaction uh, altogether it is uranium 235 92 one neutron is given and krypton is created uh, barium is created as daughter nuclei these two are known as daughter nuclei and in that reaction by the way three neutrons were produced but in in this case two neutrons similar to this uh, this reaction is taking place so binding energy per nucleon of y now where y is a product and the binding energy per nucleon of x x is the reactant so my dear student when we were doing this curve of binding energy per nucleon do you remember that uh, the curve was somewhat like this uh like this so this was the binding energy per nucleon the top end was the nickel or the iron and uh, this was something uranium this is hydrogen and all that so one thing was very very clear that when the nuclear fission is taking place uranium is itself converting itself into two um, uh, nuclei uh, which are on the left hand side of the uranium it means that they are becoming more stable which means that binding energy per nucleon is definitely going to increase so as a thumb rule try to understand fission reaction will be possible only if some nuclei is created which is having more binding energy per nucleon otherwise the fission reaction cannot even take place fission reaction will take place only in this direction that is uranium will be converting itself into the elements having lesser atomic mass number got it and for that obviously the binding energy per nucleon will be more than what it was for the uranium so y is the product and definitely the binding energy per nucleon for y is more than that of x because x is a uh, reactant and y is the product and that is why if you are going to find the ratio this this ratio is definitely going to be greater than one no doubt about that uh, that is clearly evident from the curve that we have drawn isn't it now let us go for the other thing total binding energy of y and z divided by total binding energy of x so now is concerned with the total binding energy total binding energy means that we would be multiplying the binding energy per nucleon with the mass number of the nuclei so mass number will be approximately same like let us say this mass number is a here atomic number will not be required although so the mass number is a so by using sodi fazan rule we understand that this a1 this a2 like a1 plus a2 that will be equal to a minus 1 isn't it because this is 1 and these are 2 so a plus 1 is equal to a1 plus a2 plus 2 uh, overall a1 plus a2 is equal to a minus 1 I think you might be understanding what I'm doing. I'm just adding the atomic mass numbers. They should come out to be equal. A plus 1 is equal to A1 plus A2 plus 2 because there are two neutrons. Accordingly, you can create this formula. So A1 plus A2 is approximately equal to A. We can just assume that they're approximately equal to A. Now try to see this thing that we are having binding energy for per nucleon for x is lesser so binding energy per nucleon for x is lesser than y is lesser than z so when we are going to multiply it with the atomic mass number here definitely y and z would be giving you more binding energy and x would be giving lesser binding energy am i are you able to understand am i clear like I don't know how to explain it in a better manner 
बाइंडिंग एनर्जी कैन बी फाउंड बाई फाइंडिंग बाइंडिंग एनर्जी पर न्यूक्लियन मल्टीप्लाई बाय द नंबर ऑफ न्यूक्लियन इज एंड इट सो दिस एंड दिस विल कैंसल्ड आउट सो आई एम सेइंग बाइंडिंग एनर्जी पर न्यूक्लियन इज लेसर फॉर एक्स सो व्हेन यू मल्टीप्लाई बाय ए एंड ऑन दिस साइड व्हेन यू मल्टीप्लाई बाय ए वन एंड ए टू दैट विल स्टिल बी मोर सो इवन फॉर दिस ऑन दिस द आंसर शुड बी ग्रेटर देन वन सो अवर लेट मी मूव माई सेल्फ नाउ या सो आई थिंक द आंसर विल बी ए ग्रेटर देन वन दिस शुड बी द करेक्ट आंसर uh one more thing i would like to add here i know i have taken a lot of time in this question uh see this is the nuclear reaction and this nuclear reaction is a highly feasible reaction which can take place and which is already taking place in the nuclear uh, fission reactors and all that so a lot of energy is released we know that energy will be released how can we understand the same phenomena in in a second kind of explanation try to understand binding total binding energy for x is lesser it means that lesser amount of energy has to be given to the nucleus to break it okay and y and z the binding energy will be more so when y is created we know binding energy is the energy which is released when the nucleus is created so when y is created a lot of energy is released when z is created a lot more is released so overall because we know that there is an energy which we are we are getting as an output it means that more energy is released comparative to the energy that was supposed to be given to x to break it down which only means that the total binding energy of y and z should be more than x because net energy is getting released and that is why our answer for this will also be greater than 1 and this will be greater than 1 so the answer for this will be a this is how we do it and i've tried my best to explain you this please watch the video a couple of times and do leave some comments in the comment section if you like the video or even if you have not liked the video if you like uh, you you want to ask some question or something please do mention in the comment section so that i'm able to understand are you people understanding what i told you or not okay my dear student this is professor varun thanks for joining please subscribe to the youtube channel and uh, you can join the youtube channel if you want to access the paper two questions all the best bye